For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the tension in each cable for equilibrium. So this has these 800 Newton force going up, pulling on these three cables. So to find all the tension on the cables, the first thing that we need to do is find the univectors. To do so, let's find all the points involved, which are A, B, C, and D. A sits at C on the I plus C on the J plus 5 in the K. B sits at 4 in the I plus 4 in the J plus 0 in the K. C sits at negative 2 in the I plus 3 in the J plus 0 in the K. And D sits at negative 4 in the I minus 5 in the J plus 0 in the K. So, to find the univector that goes from A to B, you need to find the vector that goes from A to B first, which is B minus A, and it sits at 4 in the I plus 4 in the J minus 5 in the K. Then you need to find the magnitude of this vector, which is found by doing the X component square plus the Y component square plus the C component square. So 4 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared, and all square rooted gives you 7.55. And then to find the univector, all you need to do is divide the vector by its magnitude. And when you do that, you get that the univector comes out to be 0 0.530 in the i plus 0 0.530 in the j minus 0.662 in the K. So now you need to find, you basically found the univector that goes from A to B, which is this one right here. We still need to find the one that goes to C, towards C, and the one that goes straight up, pointing in the direction of the force. So for AC, and for AD, I'm just going to give you the answer. You got to go through the same motions for the other uh, two points, C and D. And the answers for the univectors are minus 0.324 in the I plus 0.487 in the J minus 0.811 in the K. And for D is minus 0.492 in the I minus 0.615 in the J minus 0.615 in the K. And the last univector, which is a univector for the force going straight up, is going straight up on the C axis, which means it's just plus one in the K. It's not going in, in any other direction. So these are the four univectors that we need in order to do this problem. Now that we have the univectors, all you need to do is multiply them. That's the next step, multiply them by the tensions slash forces. So basically we have uh, f three tensions and one force, the three tensions on, on the cables and the force going straight up. So let me write them down. We got the tension AB tension AC, tension AD, and the force which is 800 newtons going up. And you got to multiply each of these by its respective univector. So this is times univector AB, tension AC is times univector AC, tension AD is times univector AD, and the 800 times the univector for the force. And when you do, you get the Cartesian vector form of each of these uh, forces and tensions. So the first one is 0 0.530 tension AB in the I plus 0 0.530 tension AB in the J minus 0.662 tension AB 
in the sorry this is k same thing for ac 0.324 tension ac in the i plus 0.487 tension ac in the j minus 0.811 tension ac in the k minus 0.492 tension ad in the i plus 0.615 tension ad in the j minus 0.615 tension ad in the k and the last one is zero on the i zero on the j and it's going straight up in the k so it's plus 800 in the k now that you have this little table you know that when you add all these cartesian vectors together you get zero on the i zero on the j and zero in the k so just by looking at this table that we just built we can easily see the three equations that we're going to form now adding the components in the i 0 0.530 tension ab plus negative 0.324 tension ac in the i minus 0.492 tension ad plus zero is equal to zero so we're gonna do the same thing for the j and for the k this is 0 0.530 tension ab plus 0.487 tension ac minus 0.615 tension ad is equal to zero minus 0.662 tension AB minus 0.811 tension AC minus 0.615 tension AD plus 800 but I'm gonna write that at the right side of the equation I'm gonna write that on the right side of the equation so now we have this uh, system of three variables and three equations so we can solve it uh, al algebraically <clears throat> you can go ahead and do it on your own way or you can stick around in this video and see how I'm gonna do it if you don't like my method a lot of people don't because I like to use matrices so to use matrices, basically what you need to do is you need to find the main determinant and the determinant for each variable. And then you need to solve for the variables, then it becomes very easy. However, before I go ahead and do that, let me just tell you that tension AB, I'm gonna make it equal to X, tension AC is gonna be Y, and tension AD is gonna be C. That's just so it's pretty for the eye. You don't have to do it if you're neat on your paper, but it's kind of hard to do with a bamboo tablet. So the first thing you need to do when you're going to do matrices is find the main determinant. To find the main determinant, you need to build a matrix with all the coefficients on the left side of the three equal signs. So that will be a matrix that looks like this. 0 0.530, 0 0.530, minus 0.662. This one will be minus 0.324, positive 0.487, minus 0.811. And the last column is minus 0.492, negative 0.615, and negative 0.615 again. So this is your matrix. It's basically all the coefficients all the coefficients that are in the left side of the equal sign right here all the coefficients and then you need to remember this little uh, column over here to find the other determinants but for now we don't need it so now that you have these to find the determinant the first thing that you need to do is rewrite the first and second column 0 0.530 0 0.530 minus 0.662 and the second column negative 0.324 plus 0.487 minus 0.811 then you need to do the positive diagonals these are positive 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 basically what it means is that you got to multiply each diagonal and keep adding them so 
0 0.530 times 0.487 times negative 0.615 plus the second uh, positive diagonal minus 0.324 times negative 0.615 times negative 0.662 plus negative 0.492 times 0.53 times negative 0.811 and then you do your negative diagonals which is minus, this is negative, 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 they're negative diagonals, negative 0.662 times 0.487 times negative 0.492. Second negative diagonal is minus 0.811 times negative 0.615 times 0.53. Minus the last one is 0 0.615, it's negative, times 0 0.53, times negative 0.324. And basically when you plug this uh, long annoying thing in your calculator, you get that this is negative 0 0.608. This is the main determinant. Now the problem becomes much, much easier. This is about as complicated as it gets, now it becomes basically going down a slide. Then what you need to do is you need to find the determinant for each of the variables. So let's find the determinant for x first. Basically what you need to do, basically what you need to do, sorry about that, is rewrite the matrix that you wrote for the determinant, but you need to replace on the first column because this is the x, the x is the first column you need to replace the, the coefficients on the right side of the equal signs. And then you rewrite the matrix as it was before. Minus 0 0.324 plus 0 0.487 minus 0 0.811. And the last one is minus 0 0.492 minus 0 0.615 minus 0 0.615. And then you need to go through the same motion such as when, but it's much easier because, because you have two zeros. So when you rewrite the first and second column, 0 0.487 and this is minus 0 0.811. So the first one's zero, the second one has a value, but the third one's zero when you do your positive diagonals. And when you do your negative diagonals, the first one has a value but the second one's zero and the third one's zero. So it becomes much easier. So when you go through the same motions, you're gonna get that this determinant is negative 351.1. Then you find the determinant of y. Basically, you rewrite it, rewrite all the values of the first matrix of the main determinant, but you replace the second column with the, with the, uh, coefficients on the right side of the equal sign and you go through the same motions and you will find that the determinant for y is 85.8 and then you go through the same motions for the determinant of c again you rewrite all your coefficients from your main determinant matrix and you replace the values on the third column and you get that the determinant for c is equal to Sorry, this determinant is wrong. This determinant is negative 52.2. And then the determinant for C is equal to negative 343.86. These are the values for the determinants. I apologize for the so many numbers on my notes. So it's the determinant for Y and this is the determinant for C. And the last step to find X, Y, and C super easy, divide the determinant of x over the main determinant, determinant of y over the main determinant, and determinant of c over the main determinant. And when you do, you get the answers, and the answers come out to be 577.5 newtons, of course, because we're newtons, 
85.8 newtons and 565.6 newtons for C. And as I told you, X, Y, and C are tension AV, tension AC, and tension AD. So final answer, final answer, and final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.